Hey, this is Joe with Grandview Aesthetics and Plastic Surgery. Today we're here with Maddie and she is getting what done today? I'm getting my lip laser hair. Have you done this before? I have. How does it feel? I love it. The All results right. are great. And how long do they usually last about? Um, it's different, but it usually lasts like about two months and then I come back in, but it's reduction for sure. Oh, okay, cool. Um, we're gonna film it in just a second and we'll talk to you afterwards. Okay. See you in here getting ready. Here's Erin in her uh, Star Wars outfit. All right, getting all right. ready to use her uh, light, light laser, lightsaber, light laser. So Erin, with the laser hair removal, what's your requirement beforehand? Well, first of all, you wanna make sure that your hair is dark in pigment. You wanna avoid sun exposure, no makeup, lotion, or oils on your skin. You want to make sure you're not pregnant or on any antibiotics or certain medications that could cause uh, burning with the laser. So we always got to check that. And before you come for an appointment, do you need to be shaved? Do you leave, leave the hair there? It would be better if sometimes we do need to see the hair, but if you could bring a razor with you and then we could shave after we see that hair, that would be even better. So, and afterwards, yeah. use sunscreen as normal, everything like that? Absolutely. Every couple hours, at least 30 at least a 30 SPF every two hours. Maybe if you could try to cover up that area from the sun exposure, this is a hard season to avoid the sun, but it's really important that you do cover. Very good. Mm -hmm. Got Maddie here getting ready. Your upper lip, are you ready? I'm ready. Here pretty we simple. Go, everybody. Pretty simple and quick. And notice she's not even flinching. When I did this, I was grabbing Aaron's hand because I'm a baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look how quick and easy that is. Looks good. Is that all it takes? All of it. It's not even red? Nope. Perfect. 